Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Lucinda Joseph. The cabinet has decided that maths and science will revert to being taught in Bahasa Malaysia in national schools and mother tongue languages in national type schools from 2012. Deputy Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin said on Wednesday that the reversal of the policy to teach maths and science in English would be done in stages. Jurang pencapaian antara sekolah bandar dan luar bandar dalam mata pelajaran sains dan matematik semakin melebar semasa PPSMI dilaksanakan. Hanya sebahagian guru matematik dan sains di sekolah menengah dan rendah yang mengambil ujian penilaian tahap profesiensi bahasa Inggeris pada tahun 2008 mencapai tahap profesiensi. Muhyiddin says there will also be greater emphasis on teaching of the English language. He says English literature will be reintroduced as a subject on grammar and composition. Health Ministry today reported that an influenza outbreak was detected at Academy Laut Malaysia Alam in Kuala Sungai Baru, Malacca, with some 50 trainees affected. Director, Director General of Health, Tan Sri Muhammad Ismail Merikan, in a statement on the influenza AH1N1 situation in the country, said, lab tests confirmed six of the eight samples taken for testing were influenza AH1N1 cases. He says all the affected trainees have been isolated at the Academy's campus and are giving antiviral treatment. Dr. Mohamed Ismail said alum staff and trainee are not affected had been put under medical suspension supervision. Meanwhile, Dr. Mohamed Ismail said that as at 8 a.m. today, 45 new cases of influenza AH1N1 were reported in the country, 23 of the cases were imported and the other 22 are through local transmissions. Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim's sodomy trial has been delayed to July 15th. His application to strike out the charge will be heard on the same day. The opposition leader's request to obtain documents to prepare his sodomy trial will also be heard next Wednesday. The High Court set the new date for mention of the case after it was informed that Anwar's lead counsel, Sulaiman Abdullah, was still on medical leave. Anwar left the courtroom accompanied by his wife, Datin Sri, Dr. Wan Aziza, Wan Ismail, amid the cheering of supporters. Anwar pleaded not guilty on March 10 to sodomizing his former personal aide, Muhammad Saiful Bukhari Aslan, 24, at a condominium in Bukit Damansara, Kuala Lumpur, on June 26 last year. Kedah Menteri Besar Datuk Sri Azizan Abdul Razak says the state DAP is ready to make to mend ties with its Pakatan Rakyat counterpart following his meeting with DAP advisor Lim Kit Siang. He says the pig abattoir issue has been resolved with new pig breeding areas have been identified. His, he adds that a task force will also be set up to enable the administrations in Pakatan controlled states and coalition members to discuss and resolve issues immediately. On July 1st, the Kedah DAP said it was pulling out of the state Pakatan coalition after its chairman Thomas Su accused the state government of not giving equal treatment to all Kedahans. Emotions ran high as popular stars bid farewell to Michael Jackson at the Staples Center. Some 18,000 fans, family and friends took part in a public memorial for Jackson in Los Angeles Sports Arena where the singer had rehearsed the day before he died, his death for, for a highly anticipated series comeback concert. We leave you with a memory of the event. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Thanks for watching.